Hi everyone, it's Aska here. In this video, I will introduce the causes of gel peeling by the part where it peeled off. Have you ever had gel nails done, but they started to peel off white? The cause of this gel peeling off depends on where it has peeled off. You can find the cause by whether it peeled off from the base, tip, or both sides of the nail. So please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started. Have you ever had the experience of applying gel nails and after a while, the base or tip of your nails turned white and the gel was about to peel off? I think anyone who has had gel nails has experienced this once or twice. This whitish part is where the gel has peeled off from your natural nail. If you leave it like this, moisture may get in and cause green nails. So this time, I would like to introduce the causes of gel peeling and floating by the part where it peeled off. The cause will vary depending on where it peels off, whether it is the base of the nail, the tip, or the side. So observe the area where the gel is peeling off carefully and use this information the next time you apply gel. First, if it is peeling off from the tip of the nail. There are three main reasons why the gel peels off from the tip of the nail. The first is insufficient coating of the tip of the nail. When applying gel, do you coat the tip of the nail thoroughly? If you only apply gel to the surface of the nail, the gel will inevitably peel off easily from here. So make sure to coat this part of the tip with gel dory. This will make it less likely to peel off from the tip of the nail. The second is that the oil has not been removed. This applies no matter where the gel is peeling off. But if you do not remove the oil dory in the preparation before applying the gel, it will cause the gel to peel off. It is easy to forget to remove the oil from the tip of the nail in particular. After scrubbing the surface with ethanol, don't forget to wipe the tip of the nail as well. The third is overuse of the tip of the nail. This is when the cause is not the way you apply the gel, but your everyday lifestyle. When you cook, work, or do detailed handwork, if you often put pressure on the tips of your nails and scratch them, they will inevitably peel off easily. In this case, you can improve the situation by being conscious of not putting pressure on your tips as much as possible. It may be difficult to change your lifestyle habits, but just being a little conscious can make a big difference, so please try it. Next, if the nail is peeling from the base. There are three main reasons why the gel peels off from the base. First, it could be a lack of nail care. The thin skin-like layer at the base of the nail is called the loose cuticle and if you do not remove this loose cuticle properly as a preparation before applying gel, it will cause the gel to peel off from the base. If you apply gel on top of this loose cuticle, it will float from the base. The solution to this is to do thorough nail care. Even if it looks like there is no loose cuticle at first glance, it may be stuck to the surface of the nail, so be sure to rub it off with a ceramic pusher or something similar. The second is insufficient sanding. Sanding is the process of lightly filing the surface of the nail to improve adhesion as a preparation before applying gel but insufficient sanding can cause the gel to peel off. 
However, if you scrape too much, your natural nail will become thin. So try to stop when your nails become cloudy. The third is to cure the gel under light while it is on the skin. If the gel gets on top of the skin, it will peel off if the skin is pulled, and it will peel off immediately. This is a common tendency among beginners. Professional nail artists apply the gel right at the base of the nail. But for self-nailers, it is safer to apply it a little way to prevent gel allergies. It is also recommended to apply the gel while pulling the skin, so that it does not get on the skin. Next, if the nail is peeling off from the side of the nail. There are four main reasons why the gel peels off from the side. First, there is the possibility of lack of nail care. As with the case of peeling from the base, this is caused by not removing the loose cuticle on both sides properly. The second is insufficient sanding. This is also the case when the sanding is not filed properly. The third reason is that the light is not hitting the nail properly. Even if the light hits the surface of the nail well, the fingers on both sides may be next to each other, and the light may not reach all sides, and the gel may not harden properly. In this case, leave some space between the fingers and hold them under the light, or hold them one by one to harden them completely. The fourth reason is that the nail is too long. This is especially likely to happen to people with thin nails who have long nails. If you apply pressure to the tip of your nail when it is thin, both sides will bend, and the broken part will be overloaded and peel off from here. In this case, apply a hard gel to strengthen the nail. If you want to make your nails longer, it is also recommended to use acrylic, which is stronger than gel, to lengthen the nail. What did you think of the causes and count measures for gel peeling? In addition, we often hear of a phenomenon where the gel always peels off only on a certain finger. This is because of the person's habit, or because the finger that is often used for work is put under strain and becomes more likely to peel off. This is especially likely to happen on the index finger, which is used often, so reviewing your lifestyle is also an important measure. Please take a close look at where the peeling part is and try incorporating it into your gel nails. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.